All right, we're gonna test the carb and see if it needs to be rebuilt. So far it's not sucking fuel, but I put some carb cleaner in there and we're gonna pull it and if it starts, it stays starting, we know it needs, it needs nothing, it's good to go, but if it does not stay started, we're gonna have to rebuild the carburetor. So uh, do a pull string. Yep, it used all the fuel I put in the carburetor, so I'll keep pulling it a couple times to make sure. But it looks like it's not pumping the uh, gas from the tank into the carburetor, and so we'll need to rebuild. Yep. Alright, first thing we'll need to do is remove these bolts inside the carb hat. Air, air, air filter. There's four of them. Next we're taking off this control right here and uh, if you look at the pins they're put in a certain angle so after we get these screws up just gently bend this and get it to pop out. I don't mean bend this, I mean bend the move the actual control module. So uh, we're going to do that and then on this one there's a little screw we'll have to remove. That holds it in place. Here's a little wire that grounds it out to shut it off. So what you're going to do here is just kind of bend this piece of metal back. And that will just pull off. Pretty easy. It's like a spring. Alright, I removed the three bolts. Uh, screws go into the carburetor to hold it on. There's a gasket there. And next what we're going to do is we're going to remove the muffler so we can get at this bolt. And hopefully we'll be able to get at this bolt without having to remove the gas tank. That one's pretty hard. It's pretty down there. But, uh... We'll go ahead and remove the uh, muffler and these two bolts right here. The muffler was pretty easy to use and here the outside diameter of that bolt that holds the carb on is a 3 8 and inside it takes a torque T30 uh, bit although this is at an angle so it's not going to be that good because you know I need a smaller one. So you know we got Adjustable wrench, we'll try that. I got soaked down with WD 40, and so we'll be very careful not to strip it out and try to get it off. Alright, so all the bolts are removed. Um, on this one, I got uh, a break loose, but I couldn't turn it with my fingers, so I used needle nose pliers. I got the linkage off, and I got the bolts in a safe place. And I, let's see, so the only thing it's holding on right now is just the uh, being stuck to the engine and the car into the gas tank. So we'll take a screwdriver and we'll gently apply, apply the bottom until it pops. Briggs, this is a work area. Get. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a, apart this carburetor, any jets. I already took the side panel off and uh, we're going to look around at it and uh, take off this old gasket that's stuck on here still and uh, clean it up. All right. I've removed all the jets. There's the old uh, fuel adjustment. I also removed the uh, pickup, and I got a replacement for that. I can't get this main jet out. Um, the new one has a slit in it, uh, so it's like a screwdriver. And some of them, the ones I've other carbs, same brand, exact same type of carburetor, have had it where you can remove it. This one I could not, so I just simply took some wire and I ran it down into the little jet hole back and forth a couple times. Cleaned it out a little bit. So next, we got all, everything removed. We're go I took a, oh I also took a Zacto knife and I uh, kind of cleaned up around the edges to make sure there's you know, not a big part of the gasket left that would keep it from making a good connection. So I'm going to do that on this side too. And then I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to spray it with carb cleaner very carefully not to let it splash in your eyes. I'm gonna spray it real well and get it clean. So what exactly the Stins uh, carburetor kit include. It's for a 495606 carburetor. Well basically a lot of gaskets you will never use. Um, example is this. That doesn't go to this engine particularly. Um, this one's to the engine uh, from the engine to the carburetor. You get actually a couple variants of that. That's exactly the same actually. That's, they just give you double gaskets it looks like. These I don't think you'll be using. This is what goes to the gas tank, so that's good to have. Good to have two of those. 
That could be to the exhaust. Don't know. This is probably from the carb hat to the carburetor. Do not know what this one is. Or that's the one to the carb hat to the carburetor. They give you one of these, which I wish to give you more of these because this is very important. And this one's flimsier than the one I took out. The one I took out over here is thicker. Um, they will not include the spring that pushes on the diaphragm, which I don't know why. If you're paying $15 for a carb kit, it would be nice if they include that. Um, they'll give you one jet. They'll give you uh, needle screws, needle valve screws. Uh, that one is extra. And uh, this one you'll use. They'll give you this. Don't know where that goes. Yep. And I've taken apart the carburetor. So, yeah. But that's what they'll give you. And uh, you just got to make it work. It's kind of a rip off that that's 15 bucks and they don't even give you the little spring. Heaven forbid they give you a spring. So I just cleaned out the carburetor. And tips are uh, when you squirt into the hole the needle valve goes into, it should come out the main jet. Um, uh, car cleaner should. And vice versa. And also, yeah. Let's see, also when you squirt into the main jet, it should come out through the car body itself. When you squirt into the fuel pick me up, it should squirt out of that little hole there. Just look for any hole and squirt stuff through it. Try to clean it out. So I used uh, engine degreaser on the outside and I used carb cleaner on the inside. Uh, actually, throttle bottle cleaner. It's basically the same thing as carb cleaner. Yep. So uh, I'm going to wipe her down real well and uh, run a rag through her a little bit. And then uh, we'll test it. See if it's good. Oh, and one jet you don't want to miss is there's a little nodule in there. It's very hard to get to. But uh, squirt it really well and see if you can get a wire in there. It's down there. Alright. A important thing to remember when you're putting um, the diaphragm and spring back in is the spring goes in first with the metal uh, ridge it has facing out. And then your gasket goes on top of that. Very carefully. And as long as it can't be done upside down. There's, it's, it wouldn't fit. So... And there's a lineup screw for that. Then you put your top plate on and uh, your little screws, and that should be good. Make sure it's clean. Uh, I recommend using a toothbrush too, that really helps. So, I would like to compare my old uh, fuel pick me up to my new one. The problem with the new one, it's too thick inside, the wall is too thick, so it will not fit onto the uh, little tube. So I'm going to take a X-Acto knife and go around on the inside and see if I can wallow it out a little bit. Because I damaged this one a little bit taking it off. Because, uh, you know, they're supposed to sell me the right kind, but I mean, they didn't. So we'll try that. Well, I wallowed it out with the X-Acto knife and it didn't work. It got onto the start of it, but it wouldn't get any further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a match and I'm going to heat this up and then see if I can press that on there. It might work. Well, this one, although saying it is for this carburetor, I did believe it was designed for this carburetor. And the model numbers match up and everything. It will not work. So, don't buy it. Reuse your old one. Yeah. Alright, I cleaned my surface. I got my gasket on. So, I'm, uh, this actually weaves gently into there. I'll do that first. Put my first screw in there and tighten it up slowly. The reason why they give you two gaskets is they want you to double gasket it. And so I went ahead and did that. And uh, that kind of helps prevent from warping because I think this gas tank was a little warped. But now what we're going to do is we're going to put the carb on. Everything's hooked up. I mean not the carb, but the exhaust. Everything's good to go. And so we just put the exhaust on and uh, we'll fire her and see how she does. Perfect. 
Took a couple pulls to get her primed, but now she runs great. I'll put the air cleaner back on her. And we can test her and see if she tills very good. Great. I love it when carb kits work so easily. 